With 48 seats, the Indian state of Maharashtra sends the second most number of lawmakers to the lower house of the Indian parliament, the Lok Sabha. But the Western state... Western Indian state is also a powerhouse driving India's global ambitions. On Pollnomics today, we look at the state of Maharashtra's economy and why it matters to India's political economy so much. Take a look. It won't be wrong to say that Maharashtra is the principal cog in India's economic wheel. The state is blessed with a long coastline, varied topography, extensive infrastructure and strong demography factors that make it an attractive economic destination. Add to the list, it's 48 parliamentary seats and Maharashtra can never be ignored in India's complex political economy. Maharashtra has the largest state GDP in India, coming in at over $435 billion. In terms of purchasing power parity, Maharashtra is already a trillion-dollar economy. Its nominal GDP is higher than Pakistan and only slightly lower than Bangladesh. The state also contributes nearly 14% to India's total gross domestic product. At least five districts contributes over $500 billion to India's economy every year. At over $3,000, the western state also has the highest per capita income in India. It has attracted the highest foreign direct investments since 2000. No wonder Maharashtra is also a leader in manufacturing and exports in India. A lot of Maharashtra's economic power stems from Mumbai, dubbed India's financial capital. The city constitutes 10% of India's factory employment, 25% of industrial output, 33% of income tax collections, 60% of customs duty collections, 70% of maritime trade and over two-thirds of capital transactions. It is home to the Bombay Stock Exchange and the National Stock Exchange, both among the most valued stock markets in the world. Recently, Mumbai also piped Shanghai to become the city with the most numbers of billionaires in Asia. Given several favourable factors, Maharashtra has set its eye on $1 trillion GDP target. The state government aims to achieve that by 2028, but a lot needs to be done to fulfill the goal. Experts believe the state must grow by over 17% each year to reach the target, which seems like an unlikely prospect. Moreover, like other Indian states, there is a wide inequity in development across the state. Ensuring equitable development along with double-digit growth, that will be the way forward for Maharashtra. Bureau report, we on, world is one.